Today, the entire world depends upon petroleum for energy. We know that it will not last forever and we need to use it judicially. Have you ever thought what if it finishes? Most of the vehicles we see on the road run on petrol and diesel. You may have also seen some modes of transport like the e-rickshaw, cycle rickshaw, tonga on the roads in some places. These do not need petrol or diesel to run. They are either pulled by animals run on batteries or are ridden by people. The number of vehicles are increasing every day on the road. This in fact has led to more consumption of petrol and diesel beside causing some more serious problems. Some of these problems are accidents which cause damage to property, injury and loss of life. Air and noise pollution caused by the vehicles have also led to many health issues like breathing problems, itching and redness of eyes, headaches, etc. Petroleum is formed naturally deep down under the earth. It takes millions of years to form. If we do not save it today, it will soon finish. When petroleum is pumped up from below the earth, it is a smelly, thick, dark colored liquid. It has many things mixed in it. So it is first sent to the oil refinery where it is cleaned. It is from this petroleum we get kerosene, diesel, petrol, engine oil and fuel for aircrafts. Petroleum plays an important part in our everyday life. It is used for dry cleaning clothes, for lighting lamps, to make paints and plastics, to run generators and machines in the factories. It is also used as a fuel in the form of LPG and kerosene. We all know that petrol and diesel will not last forever. So we need to find ways to conserve or save it. Let us now see how we can do this. Walk or cycle if you need to cover short distances. Practice carpool system. Use of public transport like the metro, bus, local trains should be promoted. It is also advisable to switch off the car engine at the red light. These actions may look simple, but they all will help us to save petrol and diesel. Simple steps can be taken while cooking to save LPG, which is obtained from petroleum. Soaking pulses, rice, etc. before cooking help us to reduce the cooking time and save fuel. Another way to save petroleum is to look for alternative sources of energy or the renewable sources of energy. These are the solar energy, 
wind energy, water energy, and the biogas energy. One of the most commonly used alternative sources of energy is the solar energy. It will never finish and it does not cause pollution. It is available in abundance. Use of solar energy will not only help us to save petroleum, but will also help to reduce our electricity bills. So let's join hands and take a pledge to save petrol.